Okay. So, I'm gonna pretend you are actually there, where you are sitting. Okay? This is weird. I've done this before. Anyways, okay. So, today, I'm gonna show you, Autumn, which is this video is intended for, how to screen print. Exciting. Okay, so, this is a screen. Uh, this is the first one I made. It has a lot of mess ups because uh, I sucked in the beginning. But uh, hopefully this will show you better than a lot of the other videos I've seen that only show you. Okay, we have this. Okay. Um, usually people have nicer settings, but uh, mine is right here. And basically, um, I always have it in the bathtub just so it's easier to wash off and I create no mess. I'm, I'm gonna yell at me or whatever. Anyways, um, this is what I use uh, when you want to reclaim the skin the screen. You uh, use a uh, emulsion remover. They have a lot of different kinds of it. There's some soy-based ones which I'm trying to get money for, but they're all kind of expensive because they know that you know greens in and all that stuff. They not make a profit. Anyways, um, so. The, and the thing about this is like, you know, there's there's no uh, way to like really save it. And if you really want to save, um, one way is you can buy like one of the little dipper things like this. And th these are really cheap. You can just get them and just put the board in, just dip it out as discretion. Instead of like at first when I had a little one of this, I just splashed it on there. You don't really want to do that. Um, and I'm going to need my cameraman over here. Need my cameraman. I'm going. All right, one moment. Cameraman. Alright. 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 And, uh, I don't know if this is it, but this works out for me. I'm just saying. Anyways, I get a brush, uh, make sure that it's one that you don't really care about. It doesn't really matter about, like, how clean it is. Well, it does, but, you know, you don't want to crap on it. But, it basically, just, I grabbed one, and now they don't want it anymore because I use it for this. Anyways, so. In here, and by the way, you're probably gonna want like like I'm doing the the end step first, just cause you know I'm just letting you know, um, you're gonna they if you're anything like me, you're kind of messy with the things you do. You're gonna want to like wear some clothes that you know you don't really want, cause that's emulsion, and this is emulsion, and I'm kind of sad cause I really like this shirt, but uh, punk rock, whatever. Anyways, um, <laughs> just pour it on there. And you just pour that emulsion remover on there. And I'm using the bad screen because I'm going to show you some things that you don't want to do. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm going to screw up or anything. I just, I want to show you, if you don't do this right, this is how your screen's going to end up. Um, okay, so I just let it sit in a while. I'm going to kind of scrub it in there. Scrub it in. And you can kind of see parts where the, the thing fell on, the emulsion remover fell on first. It's already getting lighter. Um... Just doing that so like the so I don't waste so much emulsion remover and you know get it in there nice and good. But uh, like I said, this is one was one of my mistakes in the beginning. I was didn't really use it right, and there was this case. Show you in a moment. Pressure PSI things are, are required, but we're not rich. So hot water. Let's not do that. Hot water. I guess it just comes off mostly. My socks are wet now. That's cool. Anyways. Okay, now, now we will show you. Uh, 
see that haze? Like, you can't really clear see. I don't know exactly how you've seen it, but you can see a lot of ghost images from previous screens. And there's the stuff around the edges that is never gonna come off. But, uh,. Yeah, you have to you make sure you use enough emulsion remover to actually get the screen cleaned, nice and clean, so you can use it again. Uh, I'm going to cut to the next scene, but I'm going to keep trying to clean this, and then I'll show you more example. Um, you actually press that little button here, the red one. Okay. All right, okay. Forgot to mention something. Uh, the reason why you don't want that stuff, I don't think you can see it better now, this stuff around here, you can't really see through, which is still somewhat here, um, is because the ink will go through, and that's kind of what um, you need to happen. If you want the screen to print correctly, you don't want any of that haze because then um, it really shows up in the print. I mean, you may see it. Um, there's some ink that dried right here. And that really screwed up uh, the Defiance Ohio one I had right here, which also got screwed up by the haze over here. And there's still some haze right here from the one I'm just trying to take off. But yeah, this is bad. It just ruins up everything and then you kind of have to move it around, which you don't want to do. Sucks. But, okay, I'm going to get this clean on. But yeah, like I said, just it's cheaper to buy more of this stuff than it is to, you know, buy a new screen. I mean, yeah, cause it's expensive. Okay, cut. Alright, so this is somewhat uh, cleaned out now. I really should use a clean one for the rest of this video, but uh, yeah. This, once you're done doing that, whatever it is you're doing, uh, just leave it somewhere to dry in peace. Alright. As I was saying, like, uh, there's consequences to the screen, and uh, I just want to show you some. Um, okay, this isn't really the whole patch, but you see right there how um, that's from the haze, and that little line right there is from um, the emulsion that didn't really wash off, but what's it called? That's what happens. You know, you, you, you burn the image on there, and it doesn't really get on there. Right? I'll show you what burning an image is later, but... You see how the ink just didn't go through there, right there. Totally mess up the whole thing. So, like I said, it's it's easier to you know don't don't be stingy with your emulsion. Just uh, use it as you can until like this whole screen is clean, 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 clean. And all right, okay. This is um this is really depending on on your cell. You might you might have a different uh, sort of story, but um. Transfer paper when you print out something So when you're doing an image you want to make sure the part that you want the ink to be on regardless of it, what color it is You want it to always be black so the Sun like just Stay out of it and you can just wash it off and Like I said the um, transfer paper and you can't just buy projector paper for some printers and This side it's like smooth and the side is kind of rough and it has this paper So it just sucks it in and prints. Okay now it's dry Um I see it's dry, but look, there's little sponges. Anyways, you shouldn't worry so much about this because this is my screen. Yours is probably cleaner. I just want to do it the wrong way first because A, I want to get this done now, and two, I just want to show you, like I want to scare you how not to do this, so you know you don't. Let's go this way. Okay, so. My emulsion. I keep it in there not because I like to eat it, but because um, a lot of them they last you longer if you put them in the fridge. Um, usually, get a good size one and it lasts you a long time even if you screw up a bunch. Uh, I just put it in two layers of plastic because I am scared that it's actually toxic. Should have wanted one fifth degree, but anyways, okay. So over here. Over this side. <laughs> <laughs> That's my camera. But it's man. a bathroom. That's my camera man. Yeah. Camera man. Camera man coming up in the Okay. I'm just gonna say hi. Look. You gonna say hi? Yeah, yeah but, but I'm not gonna show hi. myself. No. I'm good. I'm good. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so this is where things get a bit dirty. Alright. 
they have scoopers that you can actually use to do this, but I used uh, my first squeegee that came with a kit, actually. Anyways, thank you, Pedro, for that, by the way. Yeah. He's my, my cameraman and my sponsor. He's what got me started in this world. I feel so alone. Okay. When screens are new, um, you have to kind of watch out for this part. Because if you keep keep them clean and you know, like do treat them nice like you're supposed to instead of like this, um, when you put on the emulsion, it's gonna actually bleed through this side and onto the other. But since I treated mine like crap, that's not really gonna happen with this. But I'm just letting you know, keep that in mind. Okay, so as you can see, you want to do this somewhere where you know you don't really care because it's gonna get messy. And anyways, okay, so. This should come with this like two ounce sensitizer that I'm actually going to show you right now. Should have done that first. Anyways, okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. So this is this is a new one that I bought, and this is where is it? Where the hell is it? So this is the sensitizer. And usually you this little black stuff in there. I don't want to take it out because it's photosensitive. I think. Let's it's, it's, Anyways. Usually just mix it in with a half of water and just mix it up real good with like a stick or something and then shove it into the motion and then it's going to turn green like that and then it becomes photosensitive and that's when you know you have to watch out it if you read the instructions it will tell you how long it'll last this one uh, four weeks at 90 per 90 Fahrenheit eight weeks at 70 and four months when refrigerated so that's why I refrigerate it because you know I don't want to waste no. anyways so you pour that sucker on there and you don't really need a lot so you know i kind of sucked at this at first but usually just pour on a little bit i think that's even more than enough um all right and then you spread it spread it and if you have excess which i always do you just because you don't want to waste you probably should watch out for the sun. Anyways, this is gonna dry really quick because I got better at thinning out the emulsion. But if you want to spread it, like I said, um, if your screen is a lot thinner than this one, then don't really worry about the fact that I'm using a crappy one because as long as you follow the steps or improvise in between, you should be alright. I missed this one. I can't really get it. Okay. Spread it out thinly. Someone needs to do that. No, no one needs to do that. Okay, so spread that out. And see, nothing, nothing's better, but usually stuff does bleed onto there. So you want to watch out for that. And. What I've started to get into the habit of doing is what usually you should do is um, let these dry overnight somewhere where it's even flat like that away from the sunlight just like that so you know you might want to put something underneath it if it's somewhere where you know you shouldn't because I usually put mine in the closet so I put like a uh, fabric that I screwed up underneath it so you know the motion bleeds onto that instead of onto the carpet and people get mad at me anyway but all right, this what I do when I want to like I'm in a rush and you know I don't want to you know do this like stuff I I improvise all right I improvise and so what I do is you're not supposed to do this but you know DIY um, you can come with me go ahead I get a fan. And I set this fan incorrectly. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. Well, this is why I want to get the job done quick. That's really but, you know, fun. I get impatient. All right, and then these are all my nice screens that I took care of once I mistreated this one. Oh, all right, and then I. Grab my sister's blanket because I really don't care about that. No, I'm just kidding. She doesn't care about it either. Um, and I mark the 
fan dry it so it gets done quicker. But just to make sure, you know, no light gets in there, I cover it up. And that's gonna probably take like 10 minutes because I did a good job. Anyways, come over here real quick again. Um, this isn't as dirty as it usually is. I mean, this isn't as clean as it usually is. I guess I'm trying to impress some people out there, you know. But, okay, so, yeah. Put back in the bags. Try to be all clean. And usually you just clean up so, you know, your parentals or wherever you live, roommates, what have you, don't get mad at you for having a mess. So where's that thing that I spin, spin? Um, another one. Clean, and you want to get it off because it turns yellow because it's photosensitive and crap. And you just wash it away and try not to feel too guilty. Try not to feel too guilty. I really want to switch, but I don't have the money yet. Anyways, I hope this isn't illegal, by the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I'm, like, you know, like those people that, that film, film those, so it, it's illegal. Anything. Well, how else am I going to you know, wash it down? I'm pretty sure this isn't like the crappiest thing. I mean, I'm not trying to like, you know, pick the lesser of two evils, but... Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. But at the moment, it's what you can afford anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I just throw this over there. Just because I can. And that's very important. You just have to throw it. <laughs> like that. Okay. And this goes back into the fridge. Mm. You don't really have to record this part. I'm just <laughs> saying it. It's Put this important. In the fridge. And then I come over here. And okay. All right. So these are the smaller, the smaller ones that um, that usually you know you go on paint. I'd go on paint. Just Rich people go on Photoshop. Well, people with Photoshop, Photoshop go on Photoshop. Anyways, I just print them out onto the transfer paper, and I just, you know, you usually want to keep them somewhere safe. I really keep losing them, so I just start sticking them to the wall. My parents don't seem to mind, so I don't think they care. But anyways, um, this one's by Rita, and the, okay, so the the larger ones. Um, like the back hatches and stuff that you might want to do, the stuff that gets onto shirts, it's not going to obviously fit on one page. So what I usually do is I spread it out to two pages and it just prints out and then I stick them together. You can't really see it here, but they're taped together. And yeah, this is half toning over here. Is, I didn't know this, but this is cool. It's like, you see the gray, I notice it on shirts all the time now, but they're just little dots. It's not actually gray, it's just little dots. <laughs> little, little dots. And yeah, that's that that you do Photoshop for. I I got a trial, but anyways, this uh, I will check on this and proper. And you you touch it. You don't. <laughs> you're not supposed to touch it. It's still kind of wet. That's like enough. Okay, you pause for now. <laughs> Two, one, go. Is it recording? Is it recording? Yes. Okay. Go. All right. So now <laughs> the screen is dry. You want to try to do this next part in like a kind of dimly lit place because you don't want um you know the sun to burn it too early and not get your image on it because then that would be really bad. Anyways, okay, so um, the best thing to do would be to get glass if you have glass to put it on top of this but since I don't, I use tape and I'm just going to randomly pick one. Which one do you want me to do? Should it be this one? This one? This one? These are too big. <laughs> this would be this one. Big one or the small one? Actually, I'm actually thinking about this. I'm gonna do Pick a medium one. size. The one. Huh? That one's this good. One? Alright, yeah. cool. Alright, so okay. So it's already taped. So Okay, this is really important. This is a really important part. I can't really show you right now, but I will tell you outside when we do this. And you kinda have to run for this. And okay, I can do this because okay, come on, come over. Okay, and you wanna always try Just follow me, just follow me, cool, let's go. Cool. Alright. And you wanna you know, keep in mind where the sun is for this next part. Because you don't want it to like, just flop it around. Um, a towel would be better. I should have done that. Actually, now that I think about it, my intention is. But I didn't do it. So, anyways, okay. Follow me. Follow me. Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. Uh, it's uh, 
Yeah, let it soak up the sun. That part over there is actually still wet, but that doesn't really matter because it's not part of our screen. Anyways, um, you're going to notice the thing start to change color. And, yeah. But, uh, this is going to burn. And it's good to have glass on it, but just keep in mind the shadows. And really, if you're going to just hold it like I am, don't try to move it because it, it really does screw the screen. Because right now the sun is cooking it. And there's chemical reactions in there under my screen. Yeah, there's chemical reactions going on down there. But the black is pretty much keeping the light from hitting and doing the same thing to the pattern that we want. And open okay, the other one. But, anyways, what I was going to say is that this image is backwards. It's in. And, uh,. That's important to do because you know you're um, you're not gonna want it to burn the way that you're gonna that you're gonna make it. What does that make you? Let me just re explain this. Okay, so thing is, I'll just explain it now that I'm here. Okay, so this is how the pa the patch is gonna look like this. This is how I want it. But since I'm I was burning it from the back. I put it in reverse, so this, the bottom would be right here on the screen, and I always like burn it from the bottom, so that's why it's reversed for me, but if you were burning it from the top, you'd actually want it like that, so you know, I'm not confusing you, am I? <laughs> I'm not gonna, like you understand what I'm saying too. I understand. Okay, it. cool, I feel like I got it. Cross. Okay, I was scared that I was being too confusing. Well, you just, you know. You should say that if they have any questions. If you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, this next part gets a little messy. Um, I used to scrub it, but I would lose too much detail. So I just gently rub it now, and I let this do the work. But usually other people have um, fancier machines. Not, don't use hot water. But just let it soak up in there a little bit. And you see it getting clear. It's coming off. That's what you want. That's a good thing. I should probably move this a little bit. Try not to leave the camera wet. <laughs> Say this way. What, what did you mean? What do you mean? Like when it starts to like you know how right here it's still kind of crisp. Uh huh. 
but right here it's starting to like since I'm scrubbing it really hard trying to get that stuff out the haze mm -hmm. it's like starting to wash so, out the emulsion. So what did you do? You went to the other I side, I went right? to the Flipped other side, yeah. And that's why I usually wash it with the hose, not the hose, the shower head because mm -hmm. it just pushes it out a little bit. You, they have PSI stuff but I'm always kind of scared of using those because I don't think this will hold up to it but I think this is as good as it's going to get. Okay. Alright, so we just wait for this to dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So just to clarify on the, what I last said, um, when you're going to do like burn it, so it's like, like I was doing it from above, I put it in reverse. So then the image would, well you can't really see it, but the image would uh, come out like that. But a better example would be uh, this one. Um, okay, this is how, this is one of the newer ones that I created well. Anyways, I burned it from the bottom and notice how like it's in reverse. But from here, it, it looks like that. So this is the top, this is the bottom. And when you put the ink on and it presses through on the fabric, which we have set up here, mm -hmm. it, the ink will just be out and it'll come out like this. So just remember, wherever you're going to burn it, you want the image to, you know, coincide and block. Keep stand. You want the image to be between. You, <laughs> you want the transfer paper, which is what we used before, the one with the design, which you would have, between the screen, the emulsion, and the sun. Okay? You'll see, like, of what, like, people tell you that you have to have fancy rigs and all that stuff. And maybe this is just because I live in um, California, but, you know, sunlight is, well, is more than enough. Uh, you can usually just burn a screen in like 10-20 seconds on a bright day such as this. Look around, they have to see how bright it is. Does it see how bright it is? Look at how, how bright and majestic <laughs> it looks. And then there's a crappy part in the background. Chir birds are chirping. Anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one to show you like what a good one comes out. But, since we were following this one, and I want to show you a bad one first. Okay, so put that there. And, alright, <clears throat> this is the ink that I use. A friend suggested it to me, a retirement refund on Etsy. You can check him out, he's pretty cool. Um, anyways, this is supposed to be like really good stuff. What's it called? Did you it's a uh, Jack Ward. Jack Ward, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And it's super opaque white. Okay. And what I usually do is get, get a smaller jar so I can usually like, uh, do what I'm about to do. And this is supposed to be eco-friendly. I haven't really checked and I really should, but you know. Yeah, they're vegan, so not not this, but the person, the retirement refund, I'm pretty sure is vegan. It, it was trying to be eco-friendly, I should say. And so I trust, I trust them when they say that, that, you know, that this is really good stuff. They said stay away from a speedball, which I did use and it came out kind of dull on the OPEC. I hope they don't sue me for saying that. But anyways, um, just stir it up in there with uh, one of these. This is pretty cheap too. Just close this. Sun out of there. Um, and usually um, the super opaque. It might be different with the other colors. I really haven't tried. But with the super opaque, um, it tends to be kind of. Um, it tends to be kind of like. Um, what's the word? It tends to be really thick in the ink, so you can't really press it that well. So usually you might want to add a few drops of water in there to kind of like, you know, make it a bit more like usable. And also, this is probably bad because we're in the sun, but we are, um, we're applying it there. And like I said, uh, you don't want to put it, put too much water in there and make it too runny because then it'll, it'll just like look like blurry the image but uh just enough so you know it's, it's you're comfortable with it so you can work with it and the reason it's it comes out brighter is because it's like really thing and you wanna i'm probably doing this wrong but every uh ink and fabric works differently so you might get different results as well if you can think of a better way of doing this then i suggest you try it but this is how i've been doing it and basically just, you know, kind of pass it a few times. Uh, the ink passes through and... I hope it isn't right, but... It just goes through the pattern that we made. And... 
I'm usually just doing some preferable, but usually you'd only have to do a few times if you're a better screen printer than I, or you know, you have a better screen or equipment, what have you, but you know, DIY. Uh, and then just kind of lift it up from one side, and it's probably going to come out really crappy. So yeah, you notice the parts, this is where the haze didn't really let it come out, but other than that, the parts that I did, which was pretty much only this right here, um, came out good. But I'm going to go wash this real quick. You always kind of want to wash it right after you're done uh, screening, screen printing, just because you don't want the, the ink to dry on the screen, because that one, this one already had enough of that. So let's just pause it right now and take care of this. Um, you see how like the image is, you can pretty much see through it. That's what you want because that's where the ink goes through. Whereas the one that I screwed up on, it's uh, you can see the sun better parts than the other. Uh, but yeah, um, you always kind of want to make sure. This one is pretty clean. And we're going to do this one. To show you what a cool looking like one this thing can be. And I'm just going to go over this a little bit just because I don't want to waste too much fabric. Alright, and... So yeah, you sh if you're following this and you are doing a, a proper one, you you know, you, you at least somewhat know what you're doing by reading this, you know, thanks to me, then, uh, you know, you should, you should be right about here with a really good looking black screen and just waiting for this and you probably want to, yeah, okay. Okay, so I got to do this one anyway since somebody wants the, or friend wants this. Kind of spread it around on the on the design. Uh, flood the screen. You don't want to move it around too much and kind of just press it down. And since this one is a good screen, you kind of don't want to press like do too many. Oh no, I missed that spot. I do too many runs since you know it'll blur the image again. So like I said, trial and error. Uh, that's how much pressure you put and whatnot. Alright, let's hope this came out good. I hate wasting fabric. Okay. Cross your fingers for me. Okay. Crossed. Uh, ah! Alright, no, I'm gonna do this right. Well, most of it came out right, but I really do need this, so... Let's do this again! In between prints, want to put a little bit more ink in there. I hope the sun isn't screwing me up. It probably is. It's probably drying as we're talking and scaring me. Yeah, so. There's stuff about off contact, and usually you know, you use uh, ink other than Jaguar, like a little bit. Letter stuff you can usually see the ink go into the design, but oh dude, I really think it's drying quick. But okay, you pretty much get it. You all get it. I'm really sorry that I shouldn't have done this in the sun. Cross my fingers, anyways. Yeah, well, oh, well, very good. Well, more or less, but you guys get the picture now. This is, this is good, okay, fabric. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use this for sure. Alright, but yeah, you all get it. I'm gonna stop wasting the fabric now. And that's pretty much how you do it. And you always wanna run. I'm gonna go really well because I don't wanna <laughs> waste this. So, just to clarify, it is my fault that these came out crappy, but just to let you know, when you're gonna screen print, you usually want a hard floor, like or some hard surface, like a table to actually hold down the screen so you know you won't have some, like accidents like this or right there but uh you want something other than a milk crate to hold up something so it doesn't you know so you can actually hold down the fabric and just spread it out but anyways this is pretty much how you do it these are still pretty okay looking if this happens to you and you know you're all about upcycling fabric you can just turn it around and use the other side 
as given that you have fabric that doesn't bleed through too much and you can just do that and I'm pretty sure people won't mind unless they say otherwise which you should always ask but you know, that's uh, pretty much it um, crap what else should I say what else should I say oh yeah you also want to usually wash the fabric before you actually do ahead of do the stuff because some of them have chemicals and you know just so you know the size and stuff and after this you usually want a heat set like like the this type of ink especially and what heat setting is you basically take an iron to it put a piece of cloth over this and just you know for 30 seconds or so just kind of heat it up and put it on the highest pressure and just basically you know so it won't wash off so the ink won't wash off but yeah these are you can see why I like using this like when I don't screw it up the ink comes out really nice you can actually come with this the ink usually comes out really bright and nice and it's pretty, you know, when you screen print right, like even though it, ignore this, but you know, you can usually see how crisp that is right there. But yeah, that's pretty much usually one. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have. This is a crappy DIY video. Um, up the screen printers, up the punks, up the pugs, up the, up the up, up the up. Okay, <laughs> that's it, right? All right. I'm really sorry, Autumn, for this. All right, this is the best I can do. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to, you know, Pedro, the cameraman. Hi. I want to give a <laughs> shout out to. Yeah, I suck at this. I just okay. got it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye bye now. <laughs> Go. And one thing I forgot. You usually want to tape down. Um, you, they have spray adhesive that you can do this, but you, you, I usually just use tape and just, you know, make sure so when you're screen printing, if you're doing this by yourself, you can just, you know, do it so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, do it somewhere where, where, like, you know, you don't really have to worry about a mess too much because you are going to make a mess. If you have a friend, it'd be nice if they held it down. Just make sure they don't move and when you, you know, when you... Put down the screen, just hold it there because otherwise it's going to create like really bad images and blur, mess it up. Mm. And basically when you lift, just like, you know, hold it down, leave it for a few seconds and just pull from one side. So don't just yank it off because then it's just going to look kind of weird. So anyways, basically hold on the fabric and then put the screen. Hold on to the fabric, put the screen. Apply the ink. Apply the ink. And then work for a little bit and then take the screen out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave these out here to soak up in the sun a little bit. Uh, and um, that's can, it. Yeah, it's pretty much it. You can catch me on any kind of a social media network, even though I say I'm a huge uh, pariah. I'm available on everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. All right then. So that's See you next much time, it. I guess. See you next time. Mm. Explorers, mm -hmm. adventurers. Okay. <laughs>